Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and he has a question how many DNA molecules of six base pairs lens are possible where the first base is purine and the last base is pyrimidine and here is the variance of the answers you may stop video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation so, first of all, I have a bonus for you. I have a mnemonic technique to memorize which bases are purines and which are pyrimidines. So, just uh, memorize this um, picture. So, we have C, U, T, and this reminds cut. So, cut version of the base. So, as you remember, some bases has one ring, some has two rings. So, cytosine would have one ring, uracil, and thymine also would have one ring. But, as you remember, in DNA we have only cytosine and thymine, and in um, RNA, thymine would be substituted with uracil. That's why I put them uh, together. So, cut. Easy to memorize that cut version of the base, which has one ring, would be cytosine, uracil, and thymine. And of course, you know that cytosine pairs with guanine, so guanine, and thymine base pairs with adenine. So, now we know that the rest would have two rings and uh, now how to memorize which we call purines and which we call pyrimidines and if you take a look for example you would see that purine is shorter than pyrimidine but now it is very important to memorize that long word stand for the basis which is shot, which we call cut version. So this is going to be pyrimidines and purines would be version of the bases with two rings. And uh, also I have another hint for you. For example, uh, which bases has um, double bond and which has triple bond and if you would take a look at cytosine and guanine the letters C and G uh, looks very similar right so looks like relatives so uh, they have three bonds between them of course this is not scientific method this is just mnemonic technique and as you see Zymine and adenine or uracil and adenine uh, looks different, so we put just two bonds between them. So now you know all the bases that has only one ring, you know bases which has two rings, you know which bases has triple bond, you know which bases has double bond, and now you know that um, Purine, short word, stand for the bases with two rings, and uh, word pyrimidine, which is longer than purine, stand uh, actually for the short version of the bases with one ring. So this is mnemonic technique. I hope now you would uh, remember it for at least a uh, long period of time, uh, at least uh, long enough to pass your exam. Now let's return to our problem and uh, we are told that um, our uh, molecule has uh, six uh, base pairs. So let's designate each position as empty box. So first position, second, third, fourth, fifth, and 
sixth position. And we know that the first position, uh, so how many DNA molecules of six base pairs lengths are possible where the first base is purine, and we know that purine would be whether guanine or adenine, so uh, it can be guanine or adenine, so it's going to be purine. And the last base is permidine, or it can be cytosine or thymine. And why I do not put uracil here? Because we are told that DNA, this is DNA, and in DNA we do not have uracil. So we know that uh, permidine in DNA can be only cytosine or thymine. But what we can get, for, for example, for the second position here, we actually can get any base. It can be, say, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, any base. And as for the third position also, it can be any base. And the same true for next position. And it's true for the fifth uh, position. It can be adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. So, for the first um, position, we have two variants. For the second, we have four variants of the bases. For the third, also four variants of the bases to choose from. For the fourth variant, uh, for the fourth position, and for the fifth position, we also have four variants. And for the last position, we have two variants here. Now, in order to find a um, number of different uh, combinations, we just have to multiply all these numbers. And if we multiply all these numbers, we are going to get 1024, which is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.